Yo, hi guys, Kevin here. Welcome back to my car build and tuning episodes. Unfortunately, we did miss a day out yesterday. Um, it wasn't my fault. Um, I came onto my console. For some reason, the Forza Horizon 2 game got deleted. Um, and I tried to reinstall it and it took hours upon hours. Uh, finally decided to Google it. And apparently if you disconnect from Xbox Live, um, like unplug the Ethernet cable and then install the game and then plug it back in it goes a thousand times quicker and I've done that and it took about 20 minutes so if I knew that a bit earlier I could have done that on the day uh, but obviously uh, I was waiting for it to kind of speed up but it didn't so unfortunately I did miss out a day yesterday uh, but we're gonna go in today with uh, with a new car um, it's an interesting car uh, but before that um, what is on the screen right now in Nissan Skyline GTR R32 um, very nice car um, Lacking a little bit of power, but do check out the video, um, it's up on my channel. Uh, but onto the comments as well, leave a comment below of what car you want to see next episode. And thumbs one up if you see one that looks pretty wicked, and hopefully, yours will get the most thumbs up. Uh, but yeah, onto this car basically, it is the Tokyo Drift themed Evo. Um, I'm guessing you mean the red and out of Tokyo Drift yeah don't what my brain has imploded it says Tokyo Drift themed and then I said I guess you mean the one out of Tokyo Drift we're gonna be hosting a new tournament on Isola della Tempesta what is this more extreme than okay I'll be back in a second with the car okay so here's the car uh, Mitsubishi Evo uh, Evo <laughs> Evo 8 um, hopefully we can swap this to rear wheel drive but apparently every single car in the game can be swapped to rear wheel drive um, from all wheel drive that is uh, hopefully they have the paint here yes they do okay what well, looks the best to be fair um, I think that's more based on it because it that one's terrible <laughs> who even made that okay um, <laughs> I didn't I didn't mean to lay it uh, sorry if that you were watching and you made that but compared to like the one this one yeah I'm going with that one. <laughs> so yeah, I think that AR is actually built into the logo. So I think they've designed it right there. Um, it's not like the other people put the AR on top of the of the um, like stripped down. Uh, but it's I think it's actually built inside. But that's coming from memory. Uh, please correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, obviously, I've watched that film a few times. So yeah. Um, do you want to leave the auto? Yes. Sorry, it's been such a long time. It's been like it's been like one day, man. It's it's been one day. You don't expect me to do this, do you? <laughs> okay, um, let's right. go into upgrades so now. Um, let's see if we could do this swap. Hopefully, there we go. Real drive swap. That's what we want. So that gets rid of a lot of weight as well, uh, which is good. Tempted to stick with a stock engine. To be fair, uh, very interesting. Um, very interested to just drift with a normal Evo engine, but yeah, fair enough. Okay, body kits. Um, I don't really know in terms of body kits what was actually on the cars, to be fair. So uh, I, I don't know. I don't know. Um, I kind of want to go with these kind of racy feels one, like with with the canards built in. They look pretty sick. Uh, that one looks pretty wicked, to be fair. Uh, but I, I think I might stick with the stock, to be fair, because stock is actually quite low. <laughs> uh, one thing I will have to do is put a race spoiler on, though. Oi, that looks sick. How have I not seen this before? That looks sick. What? Okay, so let's put the Sea West wing on. I think that's probably the most replica wing here. Uh, all I need to do is make it black. Um, rear bumper. I think the bumpers were pretty stock, to be fair. Uh, we could go with like a... Oi, that looks wicked. With those diffusers on the bottom. I know I know it wasn't in the... Technically, the Evo, but... That looks sick. I kind of like that one, though, because it shows the exhaust off a bit. I'm going to go for that. Um, but, yeah. That's that. Side skirt, so I'll just leave. Um, there might have been a body kit running on this car, but I'm just... How have I not seen all this rally stuff before? How have I not seen this? That is sick. I've generally not looked into this at all. Okay, fair enough. That looks sick though. Uh, but yeah, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, let's just keep the stock bonnet. I like the way that looks. That looks pretty sick. Um, so, I think that's pretty much the visual aspects apart from the spoiler being black. Uh, we're going to need tyres on this. 
Uh, I'm going to stick with a stock tyres. It's got 305 horsepower, so not the most powerful at the moment. Uh, let's go 245s on the front, and on the rear we can go um, 265s. There we go. Nice little, nice little change there. Uh, rim style. I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure it had five spoke wheels on it. I'm sure. I'm sure they wasn't like black, if you know what I mean. I'm sure they were like grey. I'm trying to find the best five spoke wheels here. Uh, but I don't think we're going to get straight replicas here, uh, which kind of sucks, but I can hardly see with this black. Uh, let's just go for those. I, I can hardly see. Uh, when like the bl the wheels are black, it's so hard to see that like, the design is so hard. Uh, but yeah, rim size. Uh, let's go up to 18s. Let's get a nice little upgrade there. Um, obviously, we could put 20s on, but that looks a little bit, a little bit stupid, to be fair. Um, I like my I like my styling to be kind of clean, kind of, you know, looks pretty sweet. So onto the drivetrain, everything in drivetrain is going to be race. So just go through and put everything in this category. Uh, just put it all race. Um, but yeah, this car is in everyone's mind, obviously. Um, very iconic car to be fair. Um, seeing as it was a latter take your drift as well. Uh, latter Fast and Furious, sorry. <laughs> My brain does not function when I do these videos at all. Uh, but yeah, it's a, it's a very nice car to be fair. Uh, it would be quite cool to pull out on uh, online. Get people seeing this car, that would be quite sick. Um, looks very good lowered. That looks pretty sick lowered. I think the, did the one in the actual theme, um, theme in the film, um, did that even look lowered? I'm trying to get a picture up right now. Um, Um, I don't think it was actually lowered. It's got a little bit of arch gap there, but we're going to eliminate the arch gap. Um, okay, there's Storm Island upgrades now. Yeah. yeah. So, let's chuck race anti-roll bars, roll bars. Sorry, I can't even speak today. I, don't, I, I keep doing this. So I don't know what it is. I need to kind of think about what I'm talking. Um, it might help. <laughs> uh, but yeah, everything in here is going to be race 2. Uh, I thought I'd do a little bit of a change here, but yeah, there's, there was a lot of weight in it, so we got to do the race weight reduction. So air filter, we want a little bit of noise. Um, exhaust, we want a little bit of noise. Um, should we go for about 400 to 450 horsepower, I reckon. Uh, camshaft should do that. There we go. Right in the middle of that. Uh, so that pushes up to 432 horsepower. Uh, we could upgrade the turbo just to that doesn't actually push it up that far we could do this just put a sport turbo on which is 455 horsepower so I think that's going to be plenty of plenty one sheet be plenty and let's slap on the flywheel and I think that's all the upgrades done uh, all we got to do now is just get this thing sideways the offset on the rear is pissing me off okay here we are in the free row and uh, as you can probably tell it has been raining Oh god. Ah, oh, I didn't change the colour of the spoiler. Um, but yeah, I will change that um, after this episode. But just try and imagine it with a black spoiler, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Why did that feel quite good? Oh, you prick. Yeah, prick. What are you doing? Uh, but yeah, this car feels pretty sick to be fair. Let me just up the volume a tiny bit. Gearing feels a little bit short to be fair. Just, just didn't have the acceleration to get around that long bend though. I've made some calls and arranged a new bucket list with a new set of cars and challenges. It feels very good sideways. It feels so stable sideways. What? Okay. <laughs> do I even have to do anything? There's this storm island. I have no idea what it is. Everyone's raving about it, but I'm just not involved because I drift. <laughs> now nah, I probably will get involved in it, but yeah, I'm, I've been too busy installing my fucking game. <laughs> but yeah, on to this. Um, tune car. Garen feels very, very, very short. As you can see there, it's very short. Uh, so let's just extend this out just a smidge. Uh, don't want to bog down the gearing, hopefully, but 
Should be okay. Let's just camber up the rear a tiny bit. I don't want to adjust this too much, to be fair, because that felt amazing sideways. I'm not even going to lie. Um, in terms of springs, I'm going to make these stiffer. I prefer, prefer my cars a lot stiffer, so I'm going to make those stiffer. Anti-roll bar is going to leave the same, because that felt very nice sideways, so no point changing that if it feels good. Uh, damping, very stiff already. Uh, bump stiffness can come down a tiny smidge. Braking, differential could be 100%, 100%. And hopefully this doesn't fuck up the car too much. But if it does, we can just press the default settings button. And reset to default settings. And be drifting again. Oh god. One of Horizon's top drivers is nearby. I think I took the gear in a little bit too long there. Oh god. Oh, the inside. Fuck traffic. I don't know actually, it's not bogging down on that tight corner there, which is good, oh fuck, as long as it doesn't bog down on that tight corner I'm happy, it's got the power in gear 3 to come the whole way around here, feels very very stable which is good, it's got the power, transitions are snappy, oh my god, Okay, have we stumbled across a gem here? Not when there's a car in the way. What I am going to do is I'm going to teleport down to the industrial area. Just get get this traffic out of the way. Um, to try and test this car on, it, on its stableness. I want to get sideways without keeping to, keep having to adjust the angle of the car, etc. To dive up inside. and Yeah, you get what I mean. So let's get over here. Car looks proper sweet, just imagine the, the black spoiler. <laughs> it's all in your mind. <laughs> um, but yeah, this. Get this drifting, let's get this drifting. This car feels so good sideways. The stableness is unreal. It's probably on. Whoa, sorry, that was my wheel. Did you see how fast that just... That was my wheel. That was my wheel fucking up there. Um, but yeah, this feels on par with my Dodge Charger. Uh, in terms of stableness sideways. Um, and it's also got the power as well, which is crazy. Yes, bro. My, feel, oh, my wheel is feeling so bad. What's happened? My wheel has felt terrible the last couple of days. I don't know if they've updated the, the force feedback with... Um, with bringing the Storm Island in, but I have no idea. Uh, but look at this! Oh my god! Just look at this! Utter madness around here! What I could do is lower uh, the tyre pressures in the front a tiny bit, I think. Um, it helped me with my wheel problem right now. Uh, but yeah, this car feeling pretty spot on right now. As you could probably tell by that run. <laughs> oh my god. I've got a new gem here. This is going to be tandem heaven, this car. Oh my god. Yes. Oh. Yeah, buddy. So yeah. I'm going to be doing open lobbies as well. Uh, so follow me on Twitch below. Uh, when I go live on Twitch, it will give send you an email. And you'll be able to set, um, join the Twitch chat. And I will be streaming my open lobbies on there, basically. Okay. And then hopefully I can download the the uh, stream off of Twitch, and we can get some stream highlights on there. So that'd be fun. Uh, so, oh wow, what is my wheel doing? Sorry, this isn't the card. I don't even know what's up with my wheel recently. Uh, maybe there's a new firmware update out or something because this is just not right. It's just not reacting how it should. At some points, it's just like it dies. It's proper weird. I don't know if anyone else has this problem on Forza Horizon 2, or it is just particularly my wheel. I don't know, uh, but let me know on that. Uh, but yeah, this car is feeling absolutely amazing. I'm going to give it one more run, um, but I don't think I'm going to tune any more of this, because it just feels amazing standard. You could just have default settings with this car, uh, change the gear in, and you would be absolutely rocking, to be fair. Um, these little bit of adjustments has helped though. It has helped this car massively. Feels very good sideways, um, which is good. 
Um, I don't think it was this stable when I first started, so maybe those little changes did make a good adjustment. Uh, I don't know how this will feel on the controller, but hope you guys do check it out. Um, this car feels absolutely insane. So do check it out. Let me know what you think about this car. Also, leave some comments in the comments below. <laughs> comments in the comments. Um, leave in what car you want to see next episode and if you see one that you do take fancy uh, give it a thumbs up and the most thumbs up video um, note the comment will um, be chosen so let's save this onto the store uh, storefront so if you didn't uh, want to copy down the tune from this video uh, you can quite simply um, download it from the storefront and it will be the tune right there but you won't be able to adjust it that's one problem um, if you do make this yourself uh, copy in from the video you can adjust it to your own needs which is good um, but I'm going to upload this as drift uh, best for handling because it's stable as fuck and I'm going to share that so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this um, quite good making a, a Tokyo drift car here um, a lot of people will be claiming for all wheel drive hacks online I reckon uh, but this car is just so stable sideways with rear wheel drive that they're going to be coming in thick, thick and fast so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this and if you did give it a thumbs up and I'll see you guys next time